What is up guys, it's Zoid here, and welcome to I Get This Call Every Day. I am using headphones, and here we go. Let's answer the phone. So this is a point and click based um, story about being in a call center. So I, I, I saw it on the Yogg's cast, and I thought it looked interesting. So I think I'm going to play it today. Uh, let's start with a standard greeting. Hello, general inquiries. My name is David. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah. Hi, I need to change my address. Okay, that sounds kind of reasonable. It's asking for a SIN, so I guess ask for SIN. Can I get your SIN, please? My what? Your social insurance number. That's private. Why should I give that to you? Well, I need it to look up your account. I'm only changing my address. Yes, but in order to do that, I need to pull up your account. <sighs> it's 111-22211. Thank you. And he's a dick. That's completely invalid. Um, what, what, sh what should I... Should I just say that? Mm, yeah. I'm afraid that's not a valid social insurance number. Could you double check the number, please? Fine, let me get my wallet. It's 111-22233. Bam! You. It was wrong. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we need his full name, I guess, because it comes up on the screen. Can I have your full name? Bill. I'm sorry, is that your full name? Yes. That's not a full I name. I need your first and your last name. Well, why didn't you say so? My full name is Billy Swarth. Um, still doesn't match. I'm I guess. sorry, that still doesn't match. Do you have a middle name or an initial? It's Billy J Swarth. Jeez. You need to calm down, sir. Um, I guess we need his date. Can of I birth. have your date of birth, please? November tenth. That's the rubbishest date of birth ever. And what year was that? Nineteen ninety-one. Exactly. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, address. can I have the address that's currently on your file? 1137 East 25th Avenue. Uh, what city and province is that? Alberta. What and city in Alberta? Wrong. Calgary. That's I'm sorry, wrong. that doesn't match the address that we currently have on file. <laughs> is that your new address? <laughs> oh my god, this Yes, you is, said you wanted the current address. Cool. Okay, I'm actually looking for the address that we have on your file. It's probably your last address. Um, is it in Coquitlam? Uh, should we... Shoot, nah, no, no, go, go security. Well, these are security we, questions. We careful, I'm not yeah. supposed to disclose any information from your file. Fine, try 50 Birch. 50 Birch is the most rubbish address ever. Give me an actual, this is, this is the worst thing ever. Full address. I need the full mailing address. 50 Birch Street. What city and province no, is that? PL, BC? Like what city in Surely BC? That's wrong. Coquitlam. Was there any apartment or box number? Box 7. Thank you. So, we just need to go through some additional security questions in order to change your address. What do you mean? I've given you my name, my address, my sin? I feel like I'm a bit of a dick now, because I'm just asking for so many things. I'm sorry, sir, but so far we've only gone through basic information about you. So? Don't you believe that I am who I say I am? Sir, I can't see you. We have no other way of verifying your identity. I need to ask you more questions. Listen, yeah, I pay my taxes, and I don't have to put up with this fucking shit. Oh I want to speak God. to your manager now. now. Okay, sure. Oh, I just need to put crap. you on hold while I see if my supervisor's available. We got an email. I'm not so... Oh, my God. No, another escalated call. You're fired. Oh, uh, no. We lost. Uh, we have to play this game again. Right, here we go again. Let's answer the phone. Standard greeting. Hello, General Ooh. Inquiries. My name is David. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah. Oh, Hi, I need to change my address. Um, ask for SIN. Can I get your SIN, please? My what? Your social insurance number. That's private. He's Why got should like I give really that to you? Well, I need it to look up your account. I'm only changing my address. Yes, but in order to do that, I need to pull up your account. <sighs> it's 111-22211. Thank you. And that's wrong. Mm, I'm afraid that's not a valid social insurance number. Could you double check the number, please? Fine, let me get my wallet. It's 111-22233. Thank and you. that's right. Okay, I guess we're going to Can I have your date first. of birth, please? November 10th. What year? And what year was that? 1991. Thank, Thank you. you. Address. Can I have the address that's currently on your file? 1137 East 25th Avenue. Uh, what city and province is that? Alberta. What city in Alberta? Calgary. I'm sorry, that doesn't match the address that we currently have on file. Yeah, is that your new address? Right. Yes, you said you wanted the current address. Okay, I'm actually looking for the address that we have on your file. It's probably your last address. Is it in Coquitlam? 
Security? Well, these are security questions. I'm not supposed to disclose any information from your file. Fine, try 50 Birch. I need, like, a I full need the full Stupid mailing address. Person. 50 Birch Street. What city and province is that? This is BC? Just me already. What I city do this in job. BC? Coquitlam. Was there any apartment or box number? Box 7. Thank you. Um, then I guess we need his full Can name. Can I have your full name? Bill. I'm sorry, is that your full name? Yes. I need your first and your last name. Well, why didn't you say so? My full name is Billy Swarth. I'm sorry, that still doesn't match. Do you have a middle name or an initial? It's Billy J. Swarth. Jeez. So, we just need to go through some additional security questions in order to change your address. What do you mean? I've given you my name, my address, my sin? I'm me, buddy. Um, let's go to law. I understand that, sir, but the law requires that we go through strict security questions to protect your account. Whatever. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Um, I guess... Oh, I don't know what to go for. Let's go. Other than the addresses, addresses you've already provided, can you tell me two prior addresses you've ever had on your account? 50 Birch. You already gave me that address. I'm looking for two prior addresses. 50 Birch is my prior address. Right, but we haven't changed the address yet. Can we do that? We can, once we get through security. Okay, so what do you need? Two prior addresses. Prior to 50 Birch? Yes, please. Exactly. Well, I used to live Stupid in Saskatoon. Finally getting it. Full address. I need a full mailing address. Uh, 12 Regina Road, Saskatoon. That doesn't match anything that I have on file. Is that the only place you lived in Saskatoon? Yep. Street or box. Did you get your mail there at your house? No, we had a box. Why? Well, I'm looking for your mailing address. Oh, okay. We had a P.O. box. And what was the address for that box? No idea. You don't remember? Nope. We got Would you have down. the address written down somewhere or on any old documents? No, I don't. Listen, do you remember the addresses of every place you've ever lived? Explain. We obviously don't expect you to remember everything off the top of your head. Uh, we do need to go through strict security questions, though, to allow an address change. Well, I don't remember any of the other addresses. Can you ask me something else? Sure, let's see what else we can go through. This isn't gonna work. Um, hold on. What about income from last tax return? Okay, this is... Okay, yeah, lead into a question, because otherwise he's gonna get all annoyed. Do you have a copy of your recent tax information? You mean, like, a copy of my taxes? Yeah. No, I threw that out. You're an idiot. Supposed to keep... You that. realize you're supposed to keep documents like that for up to six years, right? No, I didn't know that. Why is that? In case we or any other agency asks to review it. Why would anyone do that? I'm honest, I that pay my taxes. Looks a little bit off 50 compared to 28,000. Um, well, rate. it's a self assessing system. That means we accept the information you send us to generally be true. However, to keep the system fair, we have to perform reviews at random. That's why you need to hold on to your information in case we ask to see it later to verify your claims. That's bullshit. Let's not react to that and go What back was to your questions. net income last year? My what? Your net income. Is that how much I made? Yes, that is essentially your net income. I don't know. I think I made about 10000 last year. That is the worst thing ever. Okay, um... Profile. Did you have more than one source of income last year? No, I only worked the one job. And you're sure that you only made 10000 last year? Maybe I made twenty. I'm not sure. That's really vague. Like, th th that's like saying, okay, I made that much a week. Oh, wait, I might have made double that. Oh, I don't really know. Um, Let's say doesn't match. No, um, close enough, maybe? Let's go close yeah, enough. Yeah, I suppose that's close enough. Um, Details of last payment. Have you made any payments to us recently? I think so. How much did you pay and on what date? Uh, $50. And when did you make the payment? Sometime last month, I think. Oh my god, um... Close yeah, enough. Yeah, I suppose that's close enough. Um, representatives. Could you tell me the name of any representatives on your file? What? Explain. What I mean is, have you had anyone do your income taxes for you in the past? No, I do my taxes myself. Are you, Are sure? you sure? Sure as I can remember. 
Fine, we'll try another security question then. Uh, well, we've gone through all the security questions we can go through, and you weren't able to provide enough correct answers. Oh my god. What do you mean? I gave you my name, my sin, my address? I feel what really kind want? of mean to this guy, but this is... Okay, let's say more Sir, information. we needed more information than that. Think back to all the security questions we just went through. Yeah, well, I told you my net income. You didn't provide enough correct information. Well, what did I get wrong? I can't disclose specifics, sir, but other than the core questions, you haven't answered a single security question correctly. Come on, man. I need to change my address. My benefits come out this week, and it's going to go to my ex-girlfriend's house. Oh, wow. Complicated. Um, when did And you how move? long ago did you move? Sometime last year. And you're only calling now? I've been busy. Shall I call him an... Shall I call him an idiot or say only options? Um, You've basically got okay, two yeah. options left two if you want to change left. your address. Either call us back when you have some more information or make your request in writing. <sighs> okay, fine. Would you like the address to send your written request to? No, whatever. I'll just call back. No problem. Thanks for calling, sir. Have a nice day. Fucking asshole. Fuck yes. you! <laughs> Listen, I pay my taxes, oh my and I don't have Here to put up go. with this fucking shit. I want to speak to your manager now. Oh, no, we're okay, going to get fired. Sure. I just need to put you oh, on hold crap. while I see if my supervisor's available. Right then. And we got fired. <sighs> shit. Thanks for watching The Oids Noise, and be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with his latest gaming content.